verse 11 are you ready one to go moreover my father see yeah see the skirt of thy robe in my hand for in that I cut off the skirt of thy robe and kill thee not no thou and see that there's neither evil nor transgression in my hand and I have not sinned against thee, yet thou hauntest my soul to take it. You didn't read it well. My father, see, in that I caught your clothes, I would have killed you. <laughs> in that I listen you've been you come with me you've been reading that scripture god is giving me an interpretation for you today that shall bring your deliverance moreover my father see yes yeah, see today god will make you to see something in the name of jesus your amen if it sound like thunder your eyes of revelation shall be open today it shall be open every witchcraft operation in the night or in the day in the night or in the day it shall be exposed today my father see 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 the skirt of your rope in my hand Saul was sleeping this can kill the owner of that cloth <laughs> in witchcraft technology this is enough to deal with whoever is the owner of that cloth. Be patient, I will prove it. How many of you know that that cloth belongs to Mr. Okoriko? Let's form that name. That cloth belongs to who? Mr. Okoriko. As long as he has ever used it, what I'm holding now represents his destiny. Anywhere I, he goes with this cloud, I can manipulate his life. This 
cloth is Mr. Koriko. It represents him. It is him. That's why Jesus said in John 14 verse 30. How many of you have read John 14 verse 30? He says, the prince of this world has come. But he has nothing about me he is holding. The prince of this world has come. But he has nothing about me. Hear this. I came for a serious assignment today. The Lord showed me 600 people here that they have kept your hair somewhere. They have kept your nails somewhere. They have kept your cloth somewhere. They have kept your blood somewhere. They have kept your sperm somewhere. You cannot impregnate your wife because your sperm has been kept somewhere. You cannot get a job nor find favor because your photograph is somewhere. Do you see any picture on the screen? Are you seeing any photograph on the screen? I want to ask you a question. Please answer loud and answer honestly. Please, who is that? Are you ready for a second question? Please, who is this? This is a wonderful revelation. So, that is why the Bible says do not have any graven image Exodus 20 verse 4 do not have any graven image to worship thou shalt not make unto thee what graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven or in earth beneath or that is under the water that is one of the major commandments of God. Don't make any image of anything for yourself. What does it mean? I'm going to explain. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Because I ask you who is that? You say it's a miser. I ask you who is this? You say it's a miser. So it is possible if I'm looking for this, I can't get. If I get that. So if I'm looking for this, I try to harm this. I try to bring this down. And I cannot break through. Protocol is stopping me. Security is stopping me. No problem. I have access. I want to show you something that has been holding 600 people here. And God sent me, anointed me to pronounce your deliverance today. To pronounce your deliverance today. To pronounce your deliverance today. Somebody say fire. Are we in Genesis 126? What does he say? Let's make man in an image and in a likeness. Look at me. And he said, do not worship any image of anything. Let me tell you how it works. What you see in the village junction is not the idol. What you see in the forest, in your family forest, is not the devil. It's the image and likeness of something you cannot see. Are you catching it? So even if you see a stick carved like a snake that, and people come and worship it, it's not the devil. It's the image and likeness of the thing whose spirit we are worshiping. Just like a my son was on the screen while a my son is preaching. I'm trying to tell you the connection between this piece of dress and the life 
of Mr. Okoriko. With this piece of dress, they do him, they undo him, they manipulate him, they attack him, they subdue him, they cover him. That's why I came today to announce to you that whoever is keeping your photograph, whoever is keeping your hair, whoever is keeping your nails, whoever is keeping your name, whoever is keeping any item on your body on an altar to use it, oppressing you and fighting you today in the name above every name. If your amen sound like thunder, you are delivered. 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 Somebody say fire. First Samuel 24 verse 11. My father, can we read it together now with understanding? One, two, go, everybody. My father, see, yes, see, the skate of. For in that I cut off this skate, I would have killed you. See, because I have this. Can I shock you? Saul understood witchcraft practice quickly. Because the power, the destiny, and the life of a man is in his cloth. Genesis 39, verse 12. In Genesis 39, verse 12, Potiphar came back and the wife said, the Hebrew boy you brought to wash my, my plates, he came to rape me. The husband said, Poof! She lifted the coat of many colors and said to the husband, If you doubt me, and because in the realm of the spirit, the piece of cloth or the full cloth of a man represents him. So your cloth can actually go to court and the judge can use it as an evidence to finish your dad life. Your cloth can be taken to witchcraft court also to be used as evidence to finish you. And that is not the first time that Joseph's cloth was used as evidence against him. Genesis 37, verse 32, the Bible said, when the brothers of Joseph arranged and sold him, they used his clothes, his coat of many colors, sprinkled blood on it, and sent to the father to show that he has died. I came this morning, I do not know where your clothes is, you know Saul was lucky the person with this piece of cloth was a righteous man in fact David himself said it he said if I was a wicked man if I was a wicked man I would have dealt with you I came today to announce Anyway, they have kept your dress. Anyway, they have kept your hair. Some of you, as I'm praying today, vibration is going to take place in your stomach. Some of you, chains are going to fall off your hands today. Some of you, the money you have been tied down for years is about to be released right now. Some of you, it is not your piece of dress that they took to witchcraft world. It is your piece of money. There's no food in your house as I'm preaching now because the person you last gave yam did not eat it, he took it somewhere. There's no money in your account right now because the person 
you last dash money instead of using it to buy ground not took it somewhere and kept it as what we call demonic evidence how many of you know the meaning of demonic evidence Isaiah 44 verse 25 what does it say the Bible says that God frustrated what the tokens of liars hear me what is a token a token is something that they hold in the realm of the spirit to use against you so as you are sitting now they have your head tied. as you are sitting now they have your underwear as you are sitting now they have your piece of cloth as you are sitting now they have your hair the bible calls it a token it's a token what is a token a little thing we can hold to proof to use to connect to him a little thing about him his blood that we can use some of you your personal item got lost mysteriously some time ago but because it's not something of value you didn't believe it, 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 you just uh, for example if you have a lot of underwear and you don't see one and you have five or ten what are you nonsense from that day irregular menstrual period from that day serious fibroids from that day kidney misfunctioning from that day you begin to go to hospital but today there is a revelation I said there's a revelation in Mount Zion there shall be deliverance in Mount Zion there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession everybody hearing my voice if your amen is loud I deliver you from their hands do you know that in the market if you want to go and buy material they don't need to take you to see the whole material they can just put this for you to choose please is it possible are you sure it's possible so from this you can find out that's the same thing that medical doctors do the same thing that witches and wizards do is what medical doctors do do you know that doctors don't need you to come to the hospital just give them your blood or your urine or your 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 sputum or your stool swap doctors don't need you to come to hospital give them your blood some mosquito are not ordinary mosquito they came for blood sample that's why some of you when you wake up you feel some pepperish feeling when you are taking your bath why they took your blood sample when you take shower and the soap touch that place you see a scratch and the person that will shout amen wherever they are taking your blood sample to we scatter them by fire we scatter them by fire scatter them by fire do you know sir sir do you know that when the doctor he doesn't need you can have your your what is that thing sputum please come closer now sputum swap blood urine stool if you take it to a doctor man he doesn't need you in few minutes it will tell you whether you have cancer whether you are AA, whether you are it will analyze it which means that thing he took it look it looks little it can even tell you if you are pregnant yes, sir. or whether you have sugar doctor do you know by that blood he can tell you what is wrong with you so this is the same way that the forces of darkness operate 
they take an item from your body they take an item some of you young girls here your marriage is delayed because just one of your earrings got lost mysteriously some of you married women your husband has changed because one day mysteriously you lost your wedding ring but because you can buy another one you think that nothing is wrong can i say something today every item of yours in the hands of your enemies every every clutch every blood every hair every money if you jump and shout them in it shall scatter 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 somebody say yeah are looking for money not knowing that five naira that you gave somebody 10 years ago in the village they didn't use it <laughs> I will lead you to the gates of the enemy they must release back your money they must release back your marriage they must release back your health they must release back your beauty they must release back your favor can your amen be more powerful in the house lift your hand say oh God whoever has got my clothes or got my hair or took my money or took my blood to anywhere in the water on the sea under the tree using it to oppress me trying to manipulate me by the authority in the name of jesus i command fire who is that please say it loud i need your cooperation i'm i'm preaching who is that that's wonderful so who is this no that's too much the revelation there is too much thou shalt not worship any image so an image can be worshiped can be attacked can be choked with knife whatever they would do to you they can do to image so what you see in the villages they worship is graven images of demons that they cannot see so that they can give it offering they give it coconut they give it fufu they give it fanta to the image i want you to know that your photograph is powerful so that is who excuse me repeat repeat that is who and who is preaching i'm lucky this is on the church screen i am lucky that this bishop of my son is in faith mansion war center thank you jesus but it could be also taken to a witchcraft court yes, sir. Yes, sir. and it will represent who bishop of my son do you always see a carved uh, wood that looks like a human being have you ever seen it some are small like this okay do you notice they sell it in the market that they look like toys that thing you see there those that know it they go to market and buy it when you buy it it's an ordinary wood they have woman they have man if the person you're attacking is a man you buy man when you come to the shrine or the altar you give it his name you write the mr okoriko now hear this you now offer sacrifice you offer sacrifice to the shrine 
the shrine will now receive the image and take it as it is Mr. Okoriko. They will give it the name in the shrine. They will now conjure your soul into that little nonsense. Then from that time, if they slap that wood, you feel like somebody slapping you. If they use knife and choke here, unfortunately, if you feel like liver problem, they rush you to London, liver problem. The day the man does not want you to go to hospital or to feel comfortable to sleep, he will boil hot water, pour on that dummy. My brother, he told, he told, Jesus, he If also he does not want to, to go for your wedding, he can prepare pepper and pour. Rashes will come all over your body. You'll be itching from morning to night. Leprosy, every kind of filaria. Also, you can wake up one day and notice that you talk too much. He choke your eyes or your mouth. You become deaf. If he notice that you are traveling too much, he can use a tiny pin and choke your eyes. Okoriko, Okoriko, be blind. Hey, my eyes. So doctors have name for all this. They will call it glaucoma. They call it uh, myopia. They call it uh, uh, retina. They call it uh, pupil. The, the doctors they already have name. As you arrive in the hospital, they will give you the new name. But the actual manipulation is taking place in the realm of the spirit. Do you know why you are here today? Are you ready for me to tell you? Anywhere they have taken your cloth to, anywhere they are taking your photograph to, by the blood of Jesus, I stand upon this altar. I release your family. I release your finances. I release your children. it work because of what we call the law of spiritual evidence numbers 13 verse 27 numbers 13 verse 27 the 12 spies they went to the land and when they came back the entire village did not believe they went they produced what we call the law of spiritual evidence what did they do they showed them the fruit. They said, we went, we came, we saw. If you doubt us, this is the fruit. This is the evidence. We took it from the land. From that day, Moses collected the evidence. Put in the center, Israelite began to pray. And by that fruit, through that fruit they brought from the land, they claimed Canaan. By that thing they brought are you getting it yes, by that thing they brought they dropped at the center they began to claim the land I don't know who picked sand from your compound I don't know who picked fruit from your compound but today God says the Lord your deliverance has come your deliverance has come And 11 Acts 21 10 and 11 are you ready as they were praying a certain prophet what was his name wait in me the name Agabus watch he came into the middle of prayer into the middle of a tarry night they were praying see verse 11 when he came 
he took there were many people he took Paul's kingdom and bound his hands he tied his hands and faith and said watch this this is too much for me I can't stand this one don't say it the Holy Ghost this is what the Jews at Jerusalem will do to the man who is the owner of this garden sir you see how spiritual world is deep whoever owns this this is what they will do to him so there are some of you here as I'm preaching somebody must have taken your shirt and said whoever owns this shirt this is what will happen to him when she goes to deliver this is what will happen to her when a man proposed to her whoever owns this hair are you catching the revelation don't worry we are going somewhere whoever owns this earring whoever owns this trouser he said exactly this will happen to him what happened to who to what happened to whoever is the owner of the item it's called spiritual representation that's why tonight we are going to investigate and see where your items are kept you are not shouting a good amen we are going to send the angels of God let them find out where is my underwear where is my shirt where is my earring where is my nails where is my hair where is my blood where is my trouser where is my ghetto whoever <laughs> let me shock you no this is too much do you know that when Paul went to Jerusalem the Jews grabbed Paul the owner of the Gideon tie his hands tie his leg and try to kill him think about it for a minute before I preach a fruit from Canaan is what gave out Canaan land to Joshua and Caleb just say fruit so somebody can pass by your compound like this and just pluck fruit when the 12 spies went to Canaan and plucked that fruit the Canaanites did not know that they have gotten what an evidence they have gotten what something do you know that even faith Hebrews 11 verse 1 even faith is what is a a substance of things hear me spiritual matters are not totally spiritual sometimes you need things like this don't things they look normal they look foolish but they represent the altar because you pick it from the altar they represent so when witches are coming to your house they see this common piece of paper there's confusion in their meeting when witches are attacking your children and they just see it because you pick it from the altar look at there's nothing inside this paper but by law of representation by law of a token by law of substance faith is a substance and faith is an evidence in the spiritual world they operate with evidences let me show you one they operate with evidences how many of you remember a man called Judah Genesis 38 Genesis 38 verse 25 Judah the story is not good let me not tell the story Judah did something 
Eh? You remember? What? You remember what he did? And he forgot. He did not know that in witchcraft world, you may do and go, but the whole evidence. Satan is a quack lawyer. That's why Jesus is an advocate. You didn't hear me. I said Satan is an accuser. That is why Jesus is an advocate. Any way he has accused you, any way he has held something against you, if your amen will be loud, your advocate shall defeat him in the law court. Every case brought up against you, every item standing and speaking against you, any way anybody is using anything or any occasion to fight your life, to hinder your destiny, if your amen was louder, I release your deliverance, 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 in the name of Jesus. So when, <laughs> that's why it's not good to be quick to accuse you. Because when you use one finger and point on somebody, four is looking at you. When Judah saw Tamar, the daughter-in-law, coming to the palace pregnant, <laughs> he said, I knew you and her lot. You must die. No, sir. Who, who gave you belay? The woman say, e era rao. Eh? Era rao. Eh? Take it easy. He said, What? You're eh? <laughs> Take it easy. Don't shout. Huh? Take it easy. We'll discuss it. She brought. Out, can you count the items? Signet, bracelet, staff. She brought it to the table. She said, Oye Wenka. Spiritual evidences. She brought bracelet. If somebody have lost his bracelet and you have money to buy another one, will you look for it? If you lose your pants, will you look for it? You you hang your pants six outside. You come only five. Would you? Will, you don't need to. If you are even announcing too much, people will say, "I bet make you go buy another underwear." Make you no make noise. If you were to lose your what is announcing? Your earring, your ring, your bracelet. If thief were to carry your bracelet, you will not believe it is for anything. You say, Oh, Jari, I beg you. Ah. Some of you here, you have lost items. You have lost bracelets. You didn't look for it. You lost earring. You didn't look for it. You hang your, your knicker outside. It disappeared. You say nonsense. Eh? Have you not heard that the thieves enter somewhere, ransack the house, and did not take anything? You have not heard such news. I will tell you what they took. They just took one small item that the occultists sent them to take. How can you make such a statement? Thieves came to my house, ransack everywhere. They didn't take anything. It's a lie. They took something. They didn't need money. So they didn't take money. You came back, you found your laptops. They were not important. But your singlet was taken. Your singlet was taken. Some of you women here, you have lost a tie. But you just think it's a stupid girl in your house that took it. It didn't mean anything to you. But I came not to bring you back to guilt. I came to tell you that we are going to the enemy's camp today. And I wish your amen was louder. We shall take back all that the devil stole. We take back 
our bracelet. We take back our singlet. We take back our staff. We take back underwear. We take back our hair. We take back our shirts. We take back our money. We take back all that the devil stole. John 10, 10 says, The thief cometh not. But for to do what? Hey, you know read and well. You know read and well. You do the fast. To steal what? Sometimes he can steal your baby's poo poo. <laughs> this message looks funny. But it's the truth. When they say the devil come to steal, people think he only steal moto. No, not moto. He doesn't need moto. He come to steal from your barber shop, your hair. How did Delilah deal with Samson? By just getting his hair, by just cutting his hair. He, what she needed, what Delilah needed was the hair. wanted <laughs> just that special bracelet with his name what did Delilah want you just you can become powerful I need I just need the hair then the brothers of, of Joseph grab Joseph or Potiphar's wife when Potiphar's wife grabbed Joseph, I showed you that in uh, Genesis 39. When Potiphar's wife grabbed Joseph, you can run, but I have your dress. <laughs> so Joseph brought Joseph. <laughs> Potiphar's wife was a witch. She said, We don't need you, we need your dress. Tama said to Judah, we don't need you. We need your bracelet. Delilah said to Samson, we don't need you. Just the hair. Child of God. Child of God. Could there be any of your items that the enemy has commandeered? Hear me. John 10, 10, John 10, 10, John 10, 10. We are going to pray today. Bible said, he cometh not, first of all, to do what? Still what? And when he can steal that bracelet from you or that underwear, what is the next thing he does? Which means nobody can kill you till they steal your pant. Nobody can kill you till they steal your hair. Nobody can kill you till they steal your dress. My father. Look at, I have your, your dress. Do you know that? There is no evil in me. I don't have witchcraft. I don't have any witchcraft in me. I would have killed you. Is there? I don't preach what is not in the Bible. My father, if I was a witch, David is telling Saul, I have evidence to nail you in the realm of the spirit. Some of you have been struggling for years. You have been battling with bad luck. You've been battling with sickness for years. But today, in the name above every name, whoever is hearing my voice and your amen sound like thunder, I deliver your body from sickness. I deliver your finances. I deliver you from poverty. I deliver you from shame. I deliver you from sorrow. I deliver you from the kingdom of hell. Somebody shout, yeah! When Dorcas died in Acts 9, verse 39, what resurrected Dorcas? Peter 
and rose and went with them. When he was gone, they brought him, what? To the upper chamber. And all the widows stood weeping. And doing what? Showing the coats, the garments, the dresses, the underwears, the evidences. It was those items. I'm showing you positive. I'm showing you negative. It was those items that Peter grabbed and prayed as a point of contact. As they were praying over those items, the power of God hit the owner of the item. As they were praying over those items, what happened? Darkness resurrected. Okay, let's let's do an, a reverse now. Supposing she was alive, and supposing Peter was a juju doctor, you are not getting me. So also, as they were doing incantation over those items, she died. Are you ready to get something? It's not written in the Bible, but I'm going to tell you. Which means what killed the woman is that one of those widows, she gave dress did not wear it she took it to the spiritual realm and conjured and killed the woman using that sweater as a point of contact that is what killed Dockers. that is why today i have come whoever has carried the money that you gave her Whoever has carried the shirt that you gave him. Whoever has carried your certificate. The photocopy of your certificate. The photocopy of your international passport. Whoever has carried your photograph. And carried your CV. Some of you, your CV is not in presidency. The person you gave your CV, he took it somewhere. But today, I come in the name of Jesus. If your enemies shall be loud, I declare your materials restored. Restored, 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 restored. I restore your health. I restore your life. I restore your family. I restore your career. I restore your beauty. I restore your finances. I restore your ministry. I restore it in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, Yeah! What did that gabo say? The owner of this giddle. The owner of this giddle will be tight. And what did he do for the owner to be tight? He took the giddle and began to tie. So if he wanted fire to burn the owner of the giddle, what will he do to the giddle? He will put it on the ground and strike matches and kerosene and as the giddle is burning the owner of the giddle if he wanted the giddle to be scattered in an accident what will he do to the giddle he will shred it and tear it and what will happen to the owner of the giddle so now if he wanted the giddle to be hidden if you take the giddle, hide it in a pot, dig ground, bury it so that nobody will see it. And if the owner of the giddle or the hetai was a young girl, she will be painting her face every day. She will put a pancake. Is this one pancake? Pancake. Is, which one is this one? Lipstick. Then this one. You won't know now. Eh? There's the one they use brush. Which one is the, do they use brush? Like shoe polish. There's one they use brush. 
So if they carry the ghetto, please answer me, of a young girl and hide it and put it on the ground and cover it, no matter how she paint her face, what will happen to the owner of the ghetto? As it is happening to the ghetto, it is happening to the owner. As the ghetto is scattered, the owner is scattered. When the ghetto is tied, the owner is tied. When the ghetto is on fire, the owner is on fire. When the ghetto is mashed, the owner is mashed. Whosoever has carried your property to the realm of the spirit, if your amen is loud, I deliver you right now. I deliver you right now. I deliver you right now. Somebody say yeah. I am here to declare that they have something somewhere. They are using to manipulate you. They are using to oppress you. But in the name above every name, I set your body free. I set your womb free. I set your face free. I release your marriage. I release your finances. I release your children. I release your career. Somebody say yeah. Agabus was a prophet. It takes a prophet to know that there's connection between your shoes and yourself. I'm holding your don't you with dress, dress dress is spiritual do you know that when when even Saul tore the dress of uh, Samuel the kingdom was torn from him you don't read it I don't let me not preach again do you know that in Acts 19 when when the apostles brought handkerchief from their body do you know that it became it became the anointing and healed the sick do you know in second king chapter 2 do you know that do you know that what elijah got from elijah was not olive oil it was just God. do you know in john chapter 20 when disciples ran to go and prove that jesus has resurrected the only evidence they can have do you know that the woman with issue of blood could not meet Jesus for counseling but she was able to touch something as small as this the Bible calls it the hem the, the lowest part of the garment the, it's not even the garment it's just the things that that fall around the garment that's what she touched when she touched it, power, power came upon her. So there was power. Jesus, Father, I gave them the word you gave me. I didn't create it. You showed me 600 people. <laughs> Ministry. Oh, 
oh God, whoever is here this morning and her underwear, her powder, even her blood is somewhere. Deliver us today. of Delilah out of the hands of Herod God Lord could there be any family that cannot finish their house because somebody went to the site and picked an item oh God David said to Saul if I was wicked, my master, look at a piece of your dress. Father, there are people hearing my voice. Some of them may not know that a piece of their dress is in their enemy's hand. Their photograph, which is their image and likeness, is in a shrine. Lord, I kneel on this altar. Sender will shout them in three times. Let all those items catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hello, I'm Bishop Dr. Emma Gospel Isa, standing here on the ground of City of Testimonies, Ikonerebon, Edmas, Calabar. And this is where it is happening next Saturday, where I'll be preaching one of the most powerful and prophetic messages of our time, 6 a.m. Saturday, and I'll be welcoming you here at Faith Mansion World Center, where men's lives, women's lives, and businesses and careers have been changed. There are many testimonies and we are waiting for you right here at City of Testimonies. Welcome to City of Testimonies, Ikorenebong, Edmunds, Calabar, and be blessed. Come with your friends and family. Shalom.